All right, media, thank you so much for joining this morning. Shoot around availability with Carly and Katie Lou Samuelson. We'll get started with Rashawn Haylock with Spectrum Sportsnet. Good morning. Good morning. Um, as you sit here, this is for both of you, as you sit here and, you know, big smiles, you know, at, at looking at one another, uh, how, how do you begin to describe this, this moment? Yeah, it's just, I was telling Chanae earlier, I had plans all summer to come watch this game because I knew Seattle was coming to play LA here um, for the 4th of July. And then I was probably going to travel back to Seattle with her to watch her next home game. But um, yeah, it's surreal to be honest with you. <laughs> I think we both like had waited for a moment where we are and so close teams yeah. would match up with each other. And like even a couple of years ago, WBA, I think you joined a team the game after yeah. that they played my team. And so it's just, it's just crazy that it's finally like happening. We're playing against each other. What, what was the competition like growing up and had you ever played against one another, like in a, in a five on five game previously in life? I really don't think ever, yeah. like obviously one-on-ones, it was pretty competitive. Um, and we play against each other in practice, like in, at my, um, at our Spanish team, but yeah. never club, high school, college, never. This yeah. is the first time. What, what's mom and the rest of the family saying? Uh, they're just excited. They're happy to see us uh, both on this, at this level. I think it's just cool to kind of um, see us. I'm sure they'll be nervous watching the game on both sides. I will go to Percy Allen with the Seattle Times. Awesome. Hey, uh, yeah, just uh, along those same lines, did you guys, when you were kids or growing up, did you think about these moments, dream about these moments? Uh, um, I, you know, in high school, I think I pictured playing with you in college and then we went in different directions and then I never got the chance to play against you, but I never really, envision myself in the WNBA until like my senior year of college so yeah it's really surreal <laughs> yeah playing against each other kind of only came into like my mindset once we were at different colleges because clearly we've been on we were on each other's same team our whole childhood and so um, once we we're in college we had like so few opportunities where it almost worked out and it never did uh, Amna Subban with the LA Daily News Hey, Katie Lou, this question is for you. Um, you've talked uh, in the past about how Carly's career has really just been all hustle and hard work. Um, what have you learned from her the most in, in her professional career, especially this year? Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, I've said this a lot. I give Carly like a lot of credit for um, everything she's done and for everything I've been able to do because she has you know, worked so hard to get to this point. And I've seen uh, the work that she's put in every single day firsthand. I don't think everyone's seen, you know, behind the scenes, what goes into um, being, having to be ready at any time, you know, whenever your number is called. And so for me to see her, you know, thriving on this team, it's, it's really awesome because she's put in so much time for herself and she's put in so much time in my career too. Like she's put in so much effort, film, talking to me, helping me whenever I need it. So, you know, she deserves this more than anyone I know. We'll go to Doug Feinberg with the Associated Press. Hey, Carly, did you talk to Janae and Neck at all about what it's like playing against each other or sisters since they did it before? I think they were the first sisters to do that, so to speak. Yeah, no, I haven't. I was thinking about that today, actually, um, what their mindset must have been. Um, but I have plans to ask them for sure. And just, I mean, for both of you, what, what is it going to be like if you have to guard each other or, or such? I mean, just basketball game, or is there going to be a second? You're like, wow, this is kind of cool. I'm guarding my sister. I think there'll be a second where it's like just being on the court together would be really cool. But um, I'm going to have to ignore it. Like, I'm just going to have to focus on, you know, our team at the time because. Um, yeah, I mean, we're I'm, professional, though. So Exactly. Like but it's funny because, like, we've only watched each other and rooted for each other. So it's going to be different to, like, be in a game where we're each trying to beat each other. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be a switch. Like, yeah. it'll just be not in our heads once it's over with. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Doug. We'll go to Jeff Brown with Storm Chasers. 
Hey, Carly, I just talked to Katie Lou about this the other day, but what does it mean to you? I, like, I see you guys boosting each other up on social media and having that love and support of one another um, to kind of go through this experience together and, you know, to have a sister that's there for you and, you know, during the ups, but also the downs and kind of what does that all mean to you? Yeah, I mean, I'm like watching her. I was with her when she got traded to Seattle and we were in Spain and watching her thrive here and, and play and she's enjoying herself um, and then watching her also how well she did overseas in Spain. She knows this, but I'm for sure her biggest supporter, number one fan. I've watched every single one of her games, never missed one. And yeah, it just, it, I'm just super proud of her, basically. Uh, Kari Jones Jr. with the LA Sentinel. Hi, this is a question for both of you all. I wanted to ask, you know, how it's important for you all to continue to support each other and uh, just having that support for one another you know, how did that motivate you all just coming up to get where you are today? I mean, we have a really close family. Yeah. And we're just best friends. Like yeah. my older sister too. But honestly, like we played together for so long. And um, I think it's just seeing the behind the scenes, like I said earlier, like seeing how much we've each put into this together, separate, all that. It's just, you know, having that person that knows exactly what you're going through and what you've been through. Um, to help push you along. Um, we can always go to each other whenever we're having low days and it's someone that will really truly understand and wants nothing but the best for you. Thanks, time for a couple more. Um, go to Rusha Brown with Spectrum Sportsnet. Good morning, ladies. We've seen in the NBA with the Curry family how the parents come out and they have split jerseys. Can we anticipate your parents wearing some split jerseys today or how will they show their support for both your teams? My senior year of college, we were both in the final four. They had um, StanCon shirts, like yeah. Stanford and UConn split shirts. I don't think they made some today. Yeah, but they've definitely done that before. Yeah. Thanks, we'll go to Chris Camello with Nightcast Media. That's exactly the question. Can, can you guys hear me? No, we can, yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. That was exactly the question I was going to ask because the, the uh, Weaver brothers had a split, their parents made a split Dodgers and Angels jersey when they were competing against each other in the uh, freeway series in baseball. So, yeah, just kind of capitalizing on that. Um, you know, what have, what advice have your parents given you guys today or, or what text messages or calls have you guys gotten about competing against one another? Obviously this might not be their first rodeo, but you know, certainly on a, on a bigger scale, is there anything you could share with us on that? I think they just tell us the same thing. They tell us every game. Um, you know, they always send us an encouraging message before, or at least me. I don't know if yeah. you say message. <laughs> <laughs> they could, you know, send something to us before every game. Um, I think, they're treating it like the same as well. I think it's just super exciting, but you know, like I said, we're both professional and we're gonna just have to play our game like we know how to play. Yeah, also I think if they make split shirts, it'd be pretty ugly colors together. Yeah, these don't look great right now. <laughs> Time for one more today. We'll go to Gabby Charm with LASparks.com. Uh, good morning, ladies. Happy uh, 4th of July to you both. Uh, quite an interesting way to be celebrating the holiday. Just want to ask from uh, modern day high school to Stanford and UConn to the WNBA to Spain, do you guys have a specific word or phrase uh, that you could use to describe your guys' basketball careers uh, together? That's a good question. I would probably say it's just surreal. I'm because I think in Spain was like, we never thought we would actually get to play with each other at a professional level. And then that ended and like, we didn't think we were gonna play in the WNBA together this summer and now we're here. So I think, yeah, my, I had dreams when I started playing overseas, I'm two years older to play one day with you. And it was kind of just a dream, but then when it got to actually happen and not only did we play on the same team, we started majority of the year together and we're yeah. super successful and we're going back there next year. So that, that it honestly like was living a dream playing together. And then this moment is definitely like just surreal. Like I'm just taking it in. <laughs> I, uh, I do have one more to follow up. Katie Lou, this one's for you. Um, 
what was your reaction when you saw that Carly put up a career high in points? Like just about, I think it was about a week and a half or two weeks ago. Did you see the game? Like what was your reaction when you saw her success on court? Oh, I was watching the game. I was, um, I think I was watching it on my little laptop because it was on week pass. And I was just in my apartment screaming every time she scored. Um, she had a great post move. <laughs> so that one really got me hyped. But um, I was just so happy. You know, it's nothing that um, I don't expect. I expect her to make every shot she takes. She's the best shooter I've ever seen or played with. And so um, seeing that wasn't necessarily like, surprising, but I was so happy for her to have that opportunity and get to show what she can do. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Thanks.